Hello everybody, my name is Brian. And my name is Jonathan. And we are the Gay Beards. We actually have an incredible video for you today, at least we think so, hopefully you'll agree. It's informative. Um, so today we are actually going to talk a little bit about how we trim our beards, which has actually been kind of a recent development. It's an ongoing, it's a fluid situation. It is. You are. It's ever learning. This whole process of having a beard, it's like an ongoing process, like learning process. It is a learning process. So over the last couple years, we've had different companies reach out to us and occasionally, very occasionally, we come across a product that we absolutely fall in love with, and oftentimes a product that we didn't even know we needed, which is exactly what has happened here today. Remington, as some of you may know from our last video and on our Instagram channel, just got done sponsoring the World Beard and Mustache Competition, which was in Austin, Texas, thus the reason we are still wearing our cowboy hats. I would like to divulge that I have actually not taken the cowboy hat off in the last three weeks. Has that, I'm like, Brian, you cannot sleep in that. I don't know what my hair looks like underneath this, it's but it's been probably weeks. best that we don't know. So, because Remington has literally been such an incredible company to not only us, but all the other bearded men out there in the world, they actually took the liberty and sent us custom embossed toiletry bags. Though the bags are incredible, what lies beneath them is actually the hidden gem that we are here to share with you today. They sent us each our own custom beard trimmer. We will warn you now that after three years of learning and trying and wondering what works best, we have found our answer. I put this tool to good use already as it is. So my beard is pretty trimmed up. But I'm gonna help Brian trim his today. Yes, um, so I'm gonna go shower, which is the first step in shampoo. You always wanna shower and shampoo before you trim your beard. And the reason for this is that you want those hairs to be as long and Fluffy, would you say, as and possible? Vulnerable. Yeah, you want yeah you want your beard hairs to be vulnerable because you're trimming all the crazy ones. So I'm gonna go take a shower, shampoo, and then I'm also gonna throw out my beard, and I will change my shirt so that you can see my beard better. Good idea. We'll be right back. So I took a shower, a quick one, shampooed my beard, and as you'll see, I kind of have Santa beard going on because I usually just take a comb like such and kind of just throw it out. Okay, so that's pretty fluffy. Okay, are we ready? Yep. Now the idea behind this is that once you trim it all, you'll go back in and we'll show you some steps where you bring your beard back together and it'll have just a much tighter, more refined look as opposed to kind of like bush baby. Do a quick trim and then throw it again. <laughs> Make sure you didn't miss anything. Okay. Are we ready? Mm-hmm. I feel like you kind of want to get into a shape where it's like, if you left it as it was, it would look good. Where are you going? What? I'm gonna get a mirror so I can do some self trims too. Huh, okay, so Jonathan has uh, thankfully trimmed my beard. That was so sweet of you, sweetie. Um, and I got a little mirror in there too because there's just like so many different angles of the beard. You always wanna make sure you're kind of 360ing it all so you get all the scragglers. I could probably trim my beard all day long, but that was at least the general run through on how you wanna trim it. You wanna make sure you get all the extended hairs that go beyond the beard boundary, if you will. Personally, I tend to trim my beard once every month or so just to make sure I get all the extra stragglers. Jonathan's probably more like once Twice every day. Week. Please. <laughs> so now once you're done with your beard trimming, you wanna make sure you apply just a little bit of beard oil to your hands, get them all glossy, and then run through your beard. And then our last secret, which I feel like we only learned of recently, thanks to the Groomed Man Co., is a good board beard bore bristle brush. What is it? A, a bore bristle brush. A, a bore bristle brush. Look at that. It's like I never even had a crazy tangly beard. How does it feel? It feels nice, it feels real soft. So that is how you trim your beard. Again, there's a lot of different varieties to do it, but over the years, this is just what we found works best for us and what we liked in regards to shaping our beard and keeping it healthy. So if you like a beard that looks like ours, just mimic exactly <laughs> what we did. <laughs> Literally do what we did. So anyway, thank you for tuning in on how to trim your beard. Once again, we have to give a huge shout out to Remington. We literally could not have done this video without you. Um, if you're curious on how to acquire this Beard Boss Trimmer by Remington, make sure to check out the description below. We're gonna have all that information for you. Uh, until then, we want you to go out, have a great rest of your day. Do something fun and exciting, something new, maybe something that might scare you a little bit. Um, but you know what? You only have one life to live as far as we know, and we want you to enjoy it. Um, so until next time, we love you so much. I love you guys. Love See you. you next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah. yeah.